Just a short video about the Bitcoin block size debate. Um, I haven't studied it in depth, but it's on first impression to me it looks to be incredible that uh, that that they don't increase the amount of the block size, which is the easiest way and necessary. Uh, according to many, to increase the amount of transactions Bitcoin can process. That's very important because the limit is hit already today and um, as a consequence um, you have to pay a higher fee if you want it to be processed as quickly as possible. Um, um, but that means that there will always be transactions that are not processed quickly and are processed slower. And this l list will only become longer the more people that use Bitcoin. And the, 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 the Bitcoin fee will ha raise to be quick. Uh, it will become more and more expensive to be processed immediately your transaction and the list will continue to become longer um, of, peop of transactions that need to be processed so it become more expensive and slower or slower eh? either more expensive if you want to be processed immediately or if you don't want to pay more for fees it becomes slower and slower It's uh, unbelievable. And then on first impression, the arguments given is that um, while well, they, they want to have more fee income to secure Bitcoin network and to ha continue to have it more decentralized, well, you know, uh, Bitcoin is not uh, decentralized. There, there are a few miners that that validate the transactions. Two, three miners uh, uh, these days have easily 51% of the mining power uh, and so you can't call Bitcoin decentralized and <laughs> but that's not a problem. Um, I mean it could continue to grow even with the centralized mining system um, but now certainly not uh, so yeah I, I think this is happening because the core developers have other interests those that make the decisions about this have other interests than the coin holders I think this would not happen if uh, the coin holders were able to vote on this based on how many coins they have. I could be wrong about this. Eh? I mean, there are many, many, many companies where shareholders um, or the board make totally wrong decisions eh? and go broke, such, such as Kodak eh? uh, from one of the biggest companies to broke in only 20 years or Nokia. Eh? It's not because the coin holders or the shareholders decide that they make the right decisions. So I have the impression that some of these people that are for keeping uh, the amount of transactions limited in Bitcoin, some of these people actually do have a lot of Bitcoins. Uh, so that's just amazing that they choose for this. But sometimes, look, this is all personal opinion. Eh? They may be right, they may be wrong. Um, but um, my personal opinion is that they are wrong. And uh, they make a big mistake and I feel a little bit like when I I'm a little bit, you know all these Hitler videos where Hitler says no it's not a problem it's not a problem eh? it will be all right eh? uh, and 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 I feel that I'm acting like that when it comes to Bitcoin like yeah yeah they will increase the amount of transactions somehow eh? I have full confidence in that but I can't really, it's just a general trust I have in Bitcoin, but when I look at the facts, 
it's not happening so it's always important to if you want to make money in the world of investing to be to panic before the others do um, because otherwise it's too late eh? and there might be a serious problem with Bitcoin um, so yeah I'm studying it more but um, yeah the altcoins have a lot of problems but Bitcoin too so uh, and indeed when I look at uh, Ethereum I didn't see it coming at all I totally missed the opportunity in I bet on NXT and I lost a lot of money in that which had also the aim to be the next generation of cryptocurrency Ethereum stole the show and and so yeah I was very wrong in the past two years um, but yeah um, today uh, Ethereum it, it was an, not NXT but Ethereum did succeed in, in, in being seen as a, a real alternative to Bitcoin and that's a, a big achievement um, they just went up to from, from 50 million dollars to 1.23 billion dollars <laughs> And now they correct to five hundred million dollars, but I think uh, I'm gonna start to study this more, and uh, and maybe take also a position in that. Um, uh, some people think that Ethereum really has a chance to become bigger than Bitcoin, uh, much sooner than we expect, and and um, yeah, um, that's possible. Um, so yeah, those were just some thoughts I had. Uh, of course, considering the difficulties that Bitcoin is undergoing, what I really like about Ethereum is that it really does have a structure that is much more like a company than a decentralized cryptocurrency. Uh, the amount I, they really do, um, the most of the coins are with the founders, eh, like Vitalik and some other people. Uh, they do have a very big stake in the coin. I think that's very good. Uh, they do have also strong inflation, about 20% per year now. And But with that, they pay everything that currency needs in order to grow. So they do this by far the best. Eh? The second uh, one doing this uh, is Dash, but they, have, they also inflate the amount of coins in circulation, but most of that just goes to the existing people not to expansion huh? and 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 um and so that's very important with ethereum probably a lot of the coins uh, not uh, a lot more than 10 percent of the newly issued coins go to not the existing people but to expansion um, and what's also very smart of ethereum is that they haven't defined the inflation it's not fixed they keep themselves free to issue more coins or less coins in the future they only decided for next year how many coins they will issue but not for the year after so they did a lot of things right and, and um, yeah they have strong leadership and smart leadership uh, that's very important uh, I really am disappointed uh, uh, by some a lot of the decisions that NXT has taken the leadership of NXT um, so 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 yeah and Bitcoin leadership I mean that doesn't look good either so and for me dash I, I, yeah it's also actually uh, doing things a lot better but um, it doesn't succeed in growing in amount of transactions it did succeed in after ethereum 8 and is 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 dash so it did grow the most in market cap to 50 million or so um from 20 million but many many other coins have also succeeded in doubling even five folding or ten folding the past few months uh, like iota or nam or there are a lot of coins that have shown to have power but yeah cryptocurrency currency does have a network effect uh, and so it's 
you can certainly say that uh, it might be a market uh, that where the winner takes all that's possible and that you the biggest cryptocurrency has a lot bigger market cap than the second biggest cryptocurrency which has been the case up until today and so it may certain, and also I have always believed that I think Bitcoin will continue to grow it has a lot of momentum so many people know about Bitcoin so I think it even if the amount of transactions is limited it may go up a lot in uh, value still but other cryptocurrencies will sooner or later become bigger than Bitcoin and well it may be sooner rather than later uh, in the case of Ethereum because they did a tremendous job so yeah maybe uh, that's why I'm thinking maybe I should also take a position in that but I have to study it more thanks for watching bye